Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So here in this video, I want to take this time to kind of reflect on what has happened recently, how the data has changed, as well as how I am looking at AMC right now. As you guys know, over the past two years, things have changed quite often, and it's essentially always changing. And depending on when the details change, you have to change. That's just a simple rule of thumb kind of in the markets. If you're um, a even long-term investor and you own a stock for a specific reason and you have your, you know, your bull case or whatnot, if new information comes about, you have to be able to pivot pretty quickly or you could lose a lot of money even in long-term investing. That's let alone trading or, you know, uh, short squeeze event like the MOAS. You even have to be a little bit more nimble. Now, I don't mean sell all your stock. It's it's actually quite the opposite. Now, uh, some things that have happened recently have only made me even more bullish. So I kind of want to get into them, and I feel like you guys should at least hear my thought process and kind of what I'm thinking about right now. Obviously, I might be right. I might be wrong. Uh, th these are only my opinions come to your own conclusions that's the bottom line take my information mix it with your thesis and other videos or people you might talk to or, or listen to and really come to your own conclusions that's that's vitally important a, a lot of people get mad in the comment section because i said this or i thought this was going to happen sure i thought it was going to happen and fuck i was wrong okay that don't invest based off of what i say but hopefully the logic makes sense to you. Uh, hopefully. Uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it, guys. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. You guys already know the deal there. Uh, pretty much don't even have to say it at this point. If you guys do like my perspective and you want to come talk to me, you want to come trade with us live in real time, there's over 100 members over there in the trading community. Uh, link down below in the description of this video. Really, really nothing like it. Now, uh, first and foremost, let's talk about the recent changes i guess uh, a longer term change that we've seen with amc is obviously covid right crash the business business was not doing well well things are looking better now than they ever have and i think that's important to keep as a backdrop throughout the rest of this video things are better now than they were six months ago than they were 12 months ago 18 months ago 24 months ago or even before they're just better now than they have been so keep that in mind now, what's essentially happened recently is this course proceeding. Now, on one hand, this could be a big negative for, for AMC's actual share price, right? You could get dilution, things of that nature. We got this first core, uh, not court news, but the settlement news back in December. And that's when your hedge funds and institutions started to really double down on their short positions. They already had a lot of short positions, but they got even more confident. They they started to buy even more. And we don't even have to like speculate on this. We can see this in the put to call ratio numbers, right? And we'll just make it so everyone can see. Like the data is here. Back in December, really December 22nd, the put to call ratios exploded exploded ever since then you kind of came down a little bit you really just traded sideways is what i would call it and now you're sitting back basically at all-time high put to call ratios this means there's more puts now that are bought by hedge funds and institutions than calls at a ratio you just haven't seen in this trade before now that's just showing you the degree of bearishness on the stock ever since this court or I, I keep going to court but ever since this reverse split and these proposals were proposed and then ultimately voted on and then passed it was obviously a cooked vote we never had a chance even if all apes voted against this to begin with so i really don't want to highlight on that i don't think that is important at this point in time as far as what's going to happen with the stock now what we have seen recently is the courts denied the settlement in the way that it was proposed. So we did see a rally on Friday as well as a rally on Monday, right? A continued rally. And if you really look at the put to call ratio during this time as well, it jumped, right? 
from 1.56 to 1.8 within the last, since really June 20th, so about a month. Uh, but really, even after this, this big move higher, hedge funds institutions got blown out on their recent options pretty quickly. And then they just bought some more of them. Now, there's really two things that come to mind here. When I think about this court situation, and I like to think of things not individually, like if this happens, this happens. I like to think about if this happens, this happens, or if this happens, this could happen, or just think about things from a perspective of different outcomes, right? Accounting for variable change. Things that we can kind of see changing that changes the probability of this or that. Look up variable change if you don't know anything about it. Uh, that's that's essentially what I like to do. Well, the way that I'm looking at this is, again, on one hand, the business is doing better than it has ever, really, since COVID, right? So that's a positive. But I look at AMC and say they're not quite there yet. They are losing a lot of money still and they need to raise capital or like Adam Aaron says they will go bankrupt now AMC has to raise capital it looks like possibly the only way that they can do that is having this settlement go through the judge allowing AMC to do the reverse split now I think about think about it like this if I'm a hedge fund or an institutional investor and I'm short in AMC for the arbitrage trade I'm, I'm thinking about AMC like this from a shorts perspective if this arbitrage trade goes through then i should make money on the arbitrage trade just the trade itself and then i also think if this trade does not go through maybe you do get some kind of rally right maybe the trade does go against me for a while but if i have enough capital to just stay in that position then maybe amc just goes bankrupt or just overall, it wouldn't be good for AMC after that initial kind of excitement over the courts denying the settlement. But if I could just hold through that, then odds are AMC falls back down. If AMC does not raise capital, ultimately, you know, stock could go bankrupt. That's a pretty strong short thesis right there as well. So now I look at this as an ape, as as a retail investor, keeping in mind the short thesis. And I look at AMC and I say, hey, there is a massive short position against AMC. Massive. It's the biggest it's ever been. The option activity clearly is the biggest it's ever been to the bearish side. So I look at AMC and I say, hey, if the judge outright says AMC cannot go through with, with this dilution, one thing has to happen to really get the shorts to cover amc will have to raise capital in some other way they've kind of done trick accounting before they they'll be able to do it again i'm sure when that happens then you take the arbitrage trade off the table <clears throat> then you take the bankruptcy risk off the table then there is no short thesis left at all and that's why you know even in the worst case short term kind of outlook if the judge does let the settlement go through and amc does raise capital it crushes the short thesis in the more midterm right when amc actually does raise capital and you know all of that happens so i look at this as an ape and i say there's really no lose here but if i want to see the actual moas amc has to raise capital in some form or another so that's a variable that I can't account for. I don't know without the reverse split how they would do this. Most likely they would go to the bond market and that could be a possibility and that's the best possible outcome. But I can't force AMC to do that. I can't hold Adam Aaron's hand as he goes to the bond market, right? That's what would happen, I'm sure. Um, so that's my most likely outcome if the judge outright does not let this settlement go through. So long story short, based on both of these perspectives and points of view, and again, accounting for this variable change, there's a good outcome either way 
in my personal opinion. One is shorter term, if the judge dismisses this and does not let the reverse split go through. One is more midterm. It, you know, you got to raise capital. You got to uh, do that. Midterm in long-term investing is like three to five years, right? Midterm with AMC, I want to be very clear, is like three to six months. That's my midterm with AMC. My short term's like one to three months, right? My long term's like what we're seeing now, like two years with AMC. And, and we, there's so much that can change in, in, in a long-term perspective. I don't even like to get into that. Midterm is really that sweet spot that I like to focus on. And that's what I'm focusing on here in this video. So kind of where we are now, we're waiting on the courts. AMC has submitted another proposal. They submitted another one. Uh, this is the third one that's been submitted, by the way. AMC submitted proposal number two. That also got rejected because AMC said, hey, if you let us go through with this, if you approve this settlement, we don't even want to hear comments from AMC retail investors. And the judge said, yeah, that's not going to happen. So it's going to take more time. That's just the fact of it. Um, and I don't know what's ultimately going to happen, but I know it's going to take a little bit more time. Now, currently, again, with the options and the short interest where they are, it really puts hedge funds in a, in a bad spot. Because if you're solely in this for the arbitrage trade, which a lot of them are are in it just for the arbitrage trade, betting AMC is going to go bankrupt is a far lower probability than betting the arbitrage trade goes through still. AMC's going bankrupt, much smaller chance than the arbitrage trade going through. So I think as this trade continues to last, you know, longer and longer, these really cost of borrow fees are eating into those profits. Now, cost of borrow fees have recently fallen a little bit. Cost of borrow max sitting at 354%, cost of borrow average at 290%, cost of borrow minimum negative 1%. Interactive Brokers has cost of borrow fees of about 150%. Uh, very high numbers across the board still. We're coming off of numbers that are 1,000% plus, so they might look small to you. Keep in mind, these are still huge, huge numbers. And even like... Uh, the investor place says the cost of our AMC entertainment stock is swinging wildly, wildly short sellers jump on AMC stock as it hits a two month high. And, and that's exactly what we've, we talked about earlier and exactly what we've seen happen. So, uh, you know, it's kind of midterm here. Obviously things that happen in the markets can help or hurt AMC. What we seen on Friday was AMC stock was up 2.65%, largely driven by just an overall on overall kind of risk on rally in the markets but i wouldn't look at this in a short-term kind of perspective although we're going to hear from the judge again at any point that's going to be a big catalyst when that happens i would be prepared with a little bit more certainty to one see the moas that's ultimately a lot closer now than it was before and then to expect a lot of volatility a little bit in the short term and then ultimately, it revolves around crushing that longer-term short thesis, that mid-term short thesis, AMC running out of capital. If the judge dismisses the settlement, and then AMC says, hey, guys, we're going to go to the bond market. We're going to raise you know, $2 billion on you know, these, these bonds that we don't have to start paying back until 2028 or 2027, and we're only going to have to pay 5% then that's the Goldilocks outcome. That's the best case scenario for AMC. But I'm really comfortable with either decision here. One way or another, shorts have to cover on short positions. So uh, that's kind of what I really wanted to talk about here in this video. Um, I, th I think we cover everything on a daily basis pretty well already, and there's not too much that has actually happened today on a Saturday. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think about all of this information as well down below in the comment section. Again, if you guys want to come trade with us live in real time, link down below in the description of this video as well. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.